So, day six, and um, I was hoping to get a video done earlier on in the day when I when I felt a bit more energetic. But I've had a really busy day today working on my cars, um, just just general maintenance basically. Um, and yeah, I've I've, I've uh, you know I went twenty one hours because remember I did twenty five and a half hours without any food. Uh, the day before and that meant I couldn't quite do as many hours the next day so you know I went 21 hours so tomorrow I already know that I will be doing um, at 6.30 um, I, I will be eating so that's going to be uh, 20, 24 and a half hours something like that, that that I'll be doing so I'll keep you updated on that tomorrow but um, also, is is the is the weigh-in day tomorrow? So uh, you, just just for a few of you who are asking, you know, what what's your weight fluctuation like? Um, how much are you losing? Um, I wasn't expecting to lose into lose too much because obviously it's it's even though I'm fasting, your body sort of goes into starvation mode sometimes. But I'm I'm trying to have that the right stuff in order to to, to burn fats as well because it's one of the things I wanted to happen. So. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll be doing my way in tomorrow. But today, a lot of stuff turned up from ancient purity. So, is the magnesium? Um, you know, the, the, I, I get this one from from um, ancient purity because it's the one that I get along with the best. I actually feel the immediate effect. And and the reason what I want to talk about is with the skin. Really, that the, the the human skin is um, is the largest organ on our body. It actually breathes and it uh, it absorbs. And, and all sorts. So we've got to be really careful what we're actually putting on the outside of our skin because part of this um, part of this fasting and detoxification um, we need to make sure that we're not um, almost e eating well and, and, and drinking well but then we're we're um, subjecting ourselves to shampoos and shower gels which all runs over your body and they're, they're, they're like full of chemicals basically. Like, like the sort of cheap stuff that you get from the pound shop, which we've all been, uh, we've all done in the past. We, we did it for years. I can't even use that now since I've changed uh, my shampoos to a different shampoo and shower gel. Uh, that that's from Earth Fair again in 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 Glastonbury, but there's Earth Earth Fairs all over the place. Um, that that shop uh, actually sells it as well by the drum, so you can fill up your own containers just to save save um, you know having to buy new bottles and recycling, you know, chucking them in the recycling every week. But uh, you think about that, you're washing your hair, when you swill it off, it all goes down into your body, and every bit of that is getting absor absorbed into your skin, the biggest organ on your body. And uh, you, you, you know, you, you sort of doubt these things sometimes, and you think to yourself, oh, I can't make that much of a difference, surely. But um, it isn't until you get something like this, this particular magnesium, or, or, or the one from Earth Fair that I use quite a lot, because they tend to be the two places that I can get almost everything I want from. So, um, you know, this this particular one here, um, there you are, just hold it up close so you can see it. Um, yeah, it's, it's when you first start using it, when I first started using it, I, I itched so bad that I could only actually put it on my legs because that was my easiest place to itch and it was the place where it didn't, uh, where it didn't drive me so mad. I had to do it every other day, not every day, just to give myself a break. Uh, when, I, when I apply the magnesium oil, I put it on um, after a bath or a shower, whichever I may have. Uh, once I've dried myself, I put it on almost immediately after that. And the reason why I do that is, is uh, it gives me a few hours for it to absorb in before I go to bed. I always do it a couple of hours before bed because if you put on, believe me, with the difference this stuff makes, if you put it on before um, but before you went to work or something like that, you will find yourself falling asleep, and it's, that's not good because it really does relax you down that much. It's a natural relaxant that, that a lot of us are so deficient in that at first you itch like mad, and then after a while you you actually get so used to it that you can put it on anywhere and it wouldn't itch. Um, so I actually get my wife to to apply it to my back now. You know, we do it to each other. We put it in each other's back um, whenever we feel a little bit maybe tense. Um, I don't remember that, that when this stuff absorbs through your skin, it goes into all your muscles. And magnesium is responsible for um, releasing muscles. So if you suffer with a bad back and, uh, you know, in terms of your muscle pulls and things like that, then um, then magnesium is a fantastic way to release it. But remember, there's 
there's a lot of more muscles on your body because a lot of your organs are actually muscles like your heart. So if, if one of the big killers is, is like, you know, heart attacks, then magnesium is what you need. Um, one of the most important is one that I would never give up. Actually, I bought this one and I, I'm only um, two thirds of the way from my last bottle, but there's no way that I would want to run out of that because it's, it's magical stuff for getting a good night's sleep. Um, you, you apply it and then you, you, you start feeling really, really sleepy. So, um, you know, there's loads I want to cover on that. But yeah, remember that, that when you first start applying it, it may, it may be a bit itchy. You may, you may be so deficient that, that it's almost, um, it, your, your skin's really drawn in and it makes it very itchy and you will get tired almost immediately at first. So that's that one. And the other one that come through today was, um, was Fulvic Minerals. So uh, there you are for the guys, for the people who, uh, you know, want to actually look it up on, online and uh basically i have uh four four drips of this in a in a standard glass of distilled water and that gives me the minerals that uh you know in its basic form it gives me the minute minerals that maybe i've taken out by distilling the water um because obviously we take everything out when we do that so so that was good to get that because I realized, as I said in the previous video, that my, my feet were getting very cold, my hands were very cold and, and things like that. And I was biting my nails, all the telltale signs of a mineral deficiency. So uh, that I've had my first lot today. Remember that you have to you have to put four drops in a water, in a glass of water each day to um you, you know, and that, for about a month, and you will suddenly notice that you just don't suffer from those things. If anything, your feet will be hot. And you will just look around one day if you're a nail biter, for instance, you look around and you think, oh, my nails have all grown and I haven't bitten them. You just, you just stop, but you don't realize it. You don't realize, like you don't realize you're biting your nails, you don't realize when you stop. So uh, that, that's a good side effect to that. I also got, uh, this particular one is my favorite, the, the vitamin D3. Um, that was from, uh, from Ancient Pure, Purity as well. And the reason why I got that from them as well, I, I do get it from Earth Fair as well. Let me just show you that. Um, so I do get this one from Earth Fair. Um, as you can see, that's only 2,200 IUs. So uh, this one here is 10,000 IUs per capsule. So that's a, you know, that's a very, very strong dose. And usually I keep these for for the winter. And I have two a day. So I have 20,000 IUs a day in during the winter just because the side effect of having loads of uh, vitamin D3 is that, that my, um, it was one of the things that helped my um, depression. So I was getting depression, I was feeling really sad. You get that groggy feeling in January where you just, you know, you don't feel like getting up, going to work, things like that. And if you take this all the way through, and, and through the summer as well, if you can take the smaller dose through the, through the summer, um, what I found was that um, once it had a chance to build up in my body, like these particular ones are like, um, remember the cod liver oil capsules? They're a bit like that. So they've, so you can pop them in your mouth. They don't taste of anything. They, they, you know, it's not like cod liver oil where, where it tastes horrible. But uh, these, these um, you can burst in your mouth and then just swallow the, the capsule with a glass of water. And, um, you know, if I, I take them all year round because it was one of the major tools that, uh, you know, if they're, if, if you see a lot of people saying this sort of thing and you, and you and you discover it for yourself, you know you can't stop screaming about it all the time. Um, so yeah, that was that was good. Um, also, I got some more um, bicarbonate of soda, which obviously you can get anywhere, but this is this is a pure a pure food grade. Um, now I use that a lot combined with the vitamin C vitamin C powder there. I use I use those two together sometimes. What I actually do, if I had indigestion, um, you know, when when you do get a little bit bigger like I am at the moment, um, you you get a lot of indigestion, heartburn, and things like that. And what I found is that, um, and you can get almost a sicky feeling as well. And what I found is that if you have a, a third of a spoonful, a teaspoonful, in a in a little bit of water in a glass. And mix it around and let it let it absorb a little bit and drink the bicarbonate soda. Not very nice tasting, I know, but uh, it's something. If you if you want to do this, then then that's what you have to do, you know. Um, so I would drink that and then I would swill it down with a little bit of water from that glass, um, and I would leave that probably about three or four minutes or two or three minutes, 
and then I would get the same equal amount of the vitamin C powder, put it in the glass, um, stir, stir it all around, swallow it down again, again with a bit of water as well. Um, and what you find is that when the bicarbonate soda, when, when the vit vitamin C powder hits the bicarbonate soda, it reacts with it and it fizzes. Um, and basically when it does that inside of your belly, all the, uh, it neutralizes all the acids and it, and this is what it does for me. And, um, you know, you might, you might find yourself have one of those, uh, belches that catch you by surprise, one of those deep belly ones, and that lets out all the gases and relieves you. Um, so, so that was one of the good things about that. But, um, yeah, going back to eating habits. So I, what I did today was I, I actually went out for a meal with my wife and, and daughter um and there wasn't where they wanted to go which was uh frankie and benny's there's not that great a menu in terms of uh trying to stick to anything too pure but um you know i did end up having spaghetti um and um some um vegetables and things like that so so that was good and when i come back home then i had uh i had strawberries banana um uh apple tangerines you know all that sort of stuff i just had a few few of each so i i get within that hour window again so i, I want to try and even it out to 23 hours a day but obviously that's going to vary to and from so i only have an hour of eating a day and I, and I feel great you know i felt really good today i i do feel a bit worn out again now because i feel like i need to go to bed and um and sleep it off but uh yep still i it's a real tester for me this weekend because I, um, you know, I've, I've been in a, when, whenever you're, you've got time to yourself, when you can do what you want to do, that's when you've, you've got a danger of breaking and starting to eat things. And, um, but I must say that I, I didn't have too much time to myself today, but I must say that not once was I tempted to uh, come in and eat anything. The, the thought of eating actually is very funny. The thought of eating actually felt, made me feel a bit sort of revolted. It's like, Ooh, what would I want to do that for? It's, it's really strange. Um, th this is sort of the, the good signs that your head's in the right place. If you're there starving yourself every day, is like I said in, in the beginning of making these videos, it's not about punishment. You're not punishing yourself. You're taking yourself on a journey. Um, and that journey needs to, if, if, if you punish yourself, what you actually end up doing is, um, is becoming acidic in here. Because remember that as much as, as much as it's important to, you know, keep our vitamins, minerals, and things that are depleted nowadays in soils. You know, you can't grow vegetable in 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 farmers' fields now and get half as many, uh, not even quarter as many uh, minerals and vitamins and all the things that, that happen within the in the soil and sulfur and things like that. You can't get that from the soil anymore. Um, so we tend to be feeling, you know, going downhill a bit in the, in the amount that we're getting. So when we do supplement and things like that with, with, with these, with this stuff, um, we also need to make sure that we're eating well, not perfect. You don't have to be perfect. If we, if we seek perfection, I think you give up from the start because you just can't, nothing's perfect. Perfect. Um, so what I say, I always say that if you're doing something like this and you're really serious about it, I would say, keep it 80% good. So you can have 20% you know, that's not so good. So, so for instance, if I was talking about water, if I was talking 80% good, then it would either be filtered or distilled 80% of it. The other 20% would be when you're visiting somebody and they make you a, a green tea from straight from their tap water. And that, that's the sort of thing I'm talking about. You're, you're not, you know, you're, you're not trying to be too perfect because you'll beat yourself up up here. And if you don't get this right, if you don't get the, the mind alkaline, then you won't have an alkaline body. This is all proven. This is scientific. Um, you, you, you change the structure of your own human body and that your 70% water. Um, if you, if you have alkaline mind and alkaline thoughts about yourself and about what you're doing, then, um, then, then that's more important than any of this because you can survive on this sort of stuff for, for, for a long time just by having the right mind. Um, so, you know, it's so important to, to keep the mind right. You don't want the mind thinking, Oh God, I, I'm really hungry and, I, and you know, I'm not going to last and I'm not going to do this and I'm not going to do that. And I've, I've, you know, I've eaten wrong and I, I shouldn't do that. You don't want your mind like that. What you do is you don't seek for perfection. You just seek for a good mind and a healthy diet.
and um, you know that's really that's really sort of helped me never never trying to do too much in one go because we all got to start somewhere it doesn't matter how you can watch these videos and, and feel really dismayed because you think well I can't afford all this sort of stuff I can't eat organic I can't do this I can't do that or it's like I say about um, you know I say to people all the time that you know I'm sure if you actually wrote down everything everything that you buy for your household in a week including all your food majority of people could cut out all the rubbish all the chocolate all the packets of crisps and all the other junk that, that we buy every week as because we feel you know quite addicted to it and things like that we could we could um you know we could cut all that out and then we'd be able to afford this over time and we'd be able to eat organic because the money that would be left for just the fruit and veg alone we, we do that in here we 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 have um fruit veg and honey and we have that delivered and, and we may have uh, you know from making some sort of uh shepherd's pie or something like that then then we'd need some potatoes as well and, and other bits and bobs but uh you know if if we're having a if that's what you're eating that's what you want to live off as a family and not not go picking um all this junk then it's surprising you will save so much money so much money i mean over over half your money each week can be spent on junk that you don't actually need um so so yeah so then you can start affording all this sort of stuff um, all right, so so this is like thirty pounds, and that's a lot of money, a, a lot of money. But uh, you know, I don't smoke. I've got no bad habits. I drink three times a year if I'm lucky. I've never smoked actually. I've never even tried. I don't even know what it, what a cigarette would uh, feel like because I've never even tried one. But um, I'm, not, I'm not saying I'm perfect or whatever. I might go and have a load of bonfires in my back garden and breathe in a load of smoke that way or, or work on cars and get my hands covered in oil. You know, none of us are perfect. This is what I'm saying. But I don't smoke, so I save money that way. I don't, I go drinking three times a year in a push. So I save money that way. Um, and then and then I don't buy the biscuits and cakes and sweets and all that sort of stuff. And then I can afford to buy this. So it all depends how serious we are. If we're really serious about it, we can afford it and we can do it. Um, you know, and it's, it, this is the sort of thing that, that, you know, there are genuine people out there and I do come across them. I, I come across a lady on my Facebook the other day who said, what, what, I just can't afford anything. You know, I, can't, I can barely afford to eat. And that's the point where you do need someone around you who's, who's quite, you know, I mean, I said to her, tell me where you are, I'll bring a load of rain. You know, she happened to live quite local. Tell me where you are. I'll bring a bit of everything around, and you just go on and take all that and tell me how you feel. Um, she actually declined it in the end because she wanted she wants to be independent and everything else, which is fair enough. Um, but but there are there is offers out there. There is help out there if you want it. Um, and uh, you know, there there's always good people. Always good people. So that's an update. Tomorrow will be the weigh in, um, and. Um, you know, I know that there's uh, there's quite a few of you. If you've got any questions, please put it down on, on Facebook, and uh, you know, we can uh, or, or or on this on this channel, and we can um, you know, I'll do my best to answer it. I'm not, I don't, don't know everything. I just I've just learned quite a bit over the years. So uh, yeah, anything anything you think of, just uh, ask, and I'll do my best to answer it. See you tomorrow.